lot of the designers know I don't have a stylist, so I, I come trotting into the, you know, I got like a little spring in my step. You Do you know. actually trot? Yeah, I like. Dita. Hi. Hi. Given I'm a burlesque queen, um, it's so nice to be with somebody who's also into burlesque like you are. Yeah. Dita Von Teese is an industry now, an industry. <laughs> I mean, look at her. Look at this. I mean, this is like very low maintenance. <laughs> you know, I mean, she just rolled out of bed like, yeah, okay. this morning, didn't you? <laughs> well, it's the morning. It's like oh. one. It is one. It's, it's it is showgirl a, morning. It's showgirl morning. I am kind of an early bird when I'm not on show schedule. I love getting up at like... Six, seven in the morning before LA is awake. And you go bend. You go and do some bending. Do some Pilates. And some stretching. Some stretching. My big question is like, you have one part of your act where you get into a, a champagne glass. How do you fit in it's here? It's exactly like this, but, but how much, do you much bigger. You should oh. you work one of these into your show. Maybe I could work two. Yeah, maybe. <gasps> can I make them twirl? <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna you see can what make you can them do. twirl. I don't twirl. Well, you don't twirl, no. do you? I like to be the best at what I do, and I'm not the best at tassel twirling, what so I don't do it at all. What are you the best at, Dita? Bathing in a giant martini or champagne glass. It's like pink light and dimmer switches. That's the key to looking good all the time. Can you be my, not my life coach, but my light coach? Yes. Go. That's the only cure for cellulite is lighting, <gasps> good lighting. Because you know what you would call it? What? Cellulighting. Yep. Your hair. It's really glossy. Oh, is it? Yeah. What do you do? Um, How do you do that? The hot rollers. I'm a big fan of the hot How roller. How long did it I take you to learn day. to do that? I've been wearing my hair the same way for almost 20 years. It's ridiculous. I have the straightest hair in the world. Yeah. Oh my god, one day you could be blonde and poker straight and everyone would be oh like, god. girl, who is that? It's one of my worst nightmares. I yeah. really won't leave the house with straight hair. Dita hasn't left the house in six months because you can't find a hot roller. I would find a way to bend. I'd like bend it around this or something. I'd like figure out. Do I have you? nightmares about getting a sunburn. <gasps> I have nightmares about like, you know, like. What if you, what if you got a sunburn? Falling in love with somebody with Crocs on. <laughs> what if you got a sunburn in Crocs and you had little Croc burns? That would be terrible. Is Holding hands with a guy wearing Ugg boots. Oh, I know, but that could be true love. <sighs> Yeah, I have exclusive access to Dita's book of sexy this is adjectives. This my book of seduction. Addictive. Mm -hmm. Girl, you know it's true. Hussy is on here. I love Hussy. Manslayer. Be devils. And look, this is a good action. Do you steal hearts? You do. A nympho bitch. If I'm a nympho bitch, mm -hmm. you'll be femme vitale. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Let's okay. go out. I'm yeah. gonna be like. And we'll go raid male hearts. Couch temptress? No. Arch temptress. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? Because um, it's wearing so good. A dress from my own collection. It's called the Second Look Dress. But I wear it all the time because I wear it with different jewelry all the time and different belts. And the Second Look Dress. Probably you the are. most popular dress from my collection. I'm mean, a do it yourself. You are, okay. right? Yeah. You just do everything yourself? Well, I do. I don't have like a glam squad. I do my own hair, my own makeup. I pick out my own clothes. I have a lot of stylists that ask me why I'm always like able to pull like Jean-Paul Gaultier haute couture, which they're really like specific about who can borrow it. They mm -hmm. don't even send it to the Oscars. They're very like... The Oscars mm -hmm. are common. Yeah. Mm. So I always get asked why. And I said it's because, you know, I always walked in there from the beginning by myself without a big team of people trailing behind me. And I talked to the um, powers that be directly. It's all about do-it-yourself beauty and style. And that's what my whole career is based on. Who are your favorite designers? Okay, Jean-Paul, mm -hmm. I wear a lot of Ellie Saab. Roland Marais is my favorite. And Christian Louboutin, I have to mention, he's one of my closest friends. You have point shoes made by mm -hmm. him for your show, mm -hmm. right? Well, he didn't make the shoes. I just took my point shoes to him and he put the red soles on them for my acts where I dance on point. You know so, how chic that is? It's pretty cool. Pretty chic. I know. There's this dress I was obsessed with before I ever met Jean-Paul, and it's this beautiful dress, a famous dress from the Hussard collection that he did. There's one like star dress from that that has like a mink cape thrown over the shoulder, and it's all bias cut 30s. It's stunning. I wore that dress on the red carpet three times. Good girl! And he finally gave it to me. I love that dress. I used to wear a lot of uh, Christian Lacroix. Beautiful, vibrant colored, gorgeous gowns. I used to love that, and I used to love that they would just lop off the bottom of those dresses so that they would be Such short enough for me. You know, just, you know, I'd always try to wear like giant shoes so they yeah. wouldn't cut the dresses because I felt guilty. Yeah, well one day I wore a Galliano dress that I safety pinned like crazy because like I said, I don't have a stylist. I was in can on the red carpet and I She's had this so dress that was like this much too long but I was determined to wear that thing later. 
John was like, how did you wear that dress? I can't believe they even sent that dress to you to wear. I was like, I have it. We could call you DIY Von Teese. Yeah, I, a safety pin. You can start a new line at Home Depot. Yeah, well, I've got a whole industry that's prepared what for you. What are doing here? This is what girls do. We play with perfume. What is what okay, is these this? These are my two perfumes. You spritz me, because yeah. I reckon you'll even mm -hmm. spritz like okay. it will be sexy. Gentlemen, you're welcome. Lust, desire, sophistication, mystery, oh, glamour, oh. that's what is in this bottle. All of those things. All of those things. Thanks so much. Yeah, I could really do sure. with all of those. So this one has DVT, you're blowing my mind. Sexuality, eccentricity. Eccentricity and a little, uh, just a top um, note of derangement. Yeah, derangement. You gotta so, be careful with this stuff. What is this, this bra? This is part of my Von Follies lingerie collection. It's gonna be available on HSN. I have a lot of Follies, a lot of good times in these. Yeah. I feel sexier anyway. just by being here. <laughs> just that looks like your size. It's too big. It? No, come on. Dude, I'm an A. <laughs> They're carefully hidden. What do you think? This is called mixed prints. That is gonna fit you perfectly. Do you wear all of these yourself? I do. Hang that on, was I my goal, this? is I wanted to make things I can actually wear myself. Yes, you can, that's like, Thank <laughs> you.